Celebrities get banned from all kinds of places, from countries to talk shows. Some stars can sometimes land on the no-fly list, so to speak, for a number of reasons. But what about being banned from the very industry which you work? It's a harsh consequence that few stars have to deal with, so let's talk about some of them as we count down the top 10 celebrities banned from Hollywood. At number 10, Roseanne Barr. Roseanne Barr had a pretty good thing going up until 2018. Prior to then, Roseanne was finding a lot of success in the Roseanne sitcom reboot on ABC and was getting ready to usher in a new season. Everything changed after the actress tweeted out an offensive and racist tweet about Barack Obama's former senior advisor, Valerie Jarrett, comparing her to an ape. As a result, Roseanne felt the wrath of Hollywood and her show and career had been cancelled. Though she deleted the tweet and issued an apology for her actions, this couldn't save her career and she's since been reportedly blacklisted from Hollywood. The actress tried defending her actions by claiming that she thought Valerie Jarrett was white, but that excuse didn't really go over well and it made things worse for her instead. Recently, we've seen Hollywood taking these kinds of offensive actions more seriously, so many celebs have faced mass scrutiny and cancellations because of past actions or current beliefs. Roseanne has also gone on to say in interviews that Hollywood shunned her because of her political political beliefs. At number 9, CeeLo Green. CeeLo Green rose to fame in the mid-90s, but I think most of us know him for his hit song, Forget You or F You. CeeLo even got to be a judge on The Voice for a brief time, that is, until he began getting caught in scandals. The first came from back in 2011, after he was deemed homophobic after tweeting and using the word gay in a derogatory manner. This scandal blew over eventually until 2014 when a new scandal came about, this time concerning allegations of non-consensual relations with a woman. It was alleged that the singer slipped an illicit substance into a woman's drink and went home with her, but after pleading no contest to the allegations, it was determined that the relationship was consensual. CeeLo then proceeded to defend himself on Twitter, making offensive remarks, and as a result, he lost support. He stepped down from his role on The Voice and was even taken off the lineup for a music festival. He was essentially blacklisted for some time since no one really wanted to work with him. Even though he was later welcomed back to The Voice, this decision came with uproar which suggests that fans haven't forgotten about CeeLo. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please consider leaving a like and also head on over to the Viper Girl channel and hit that subscribe button for some awesome gameplay content featuring yours truly. <laughs> At number 8, Monique. Actress and comedian Monique became notable in Hollywood for her stand-up and her role on The Packers, but things escalated for her career when she was cast in the 2009 Oscar-nominated film Precious. Monique played an abusive mother in the film, and as a result of her talent, she was awarded an Oscar for Best Actress in a Supporting Role. This should have catapulted Monique's career, but instead, it did quite the opposite. Because she, quote, refused to campaign for her award, director Lee Daniels pegged her as being difficult to work with and a tacky actor and she's since lost out on a number of roles as a result. With this new label, no one in Hollywood wanted to work with her after that over fears that she would be troublesome on set and when promoting her work. Monique rose so high and fell so fast and her career is no longer the same. At number 7, Stacey Dash. Known for her role as Dion in the 90s film Clueless, Stacey Dash had risen to fame in the 90s, but recently she's hit rock bottom and is no longer welcome in the entertainment industry. Nowadays, the actress is known for being quite outspoken when it comes to her political views, and this is what led Hollywood to lock her out. Speaking out about her take on women's rights, Black History Month, segregation, and the quote-unquote bathroom bill, the actress has proven herself to be too much for even the likes of Fox News, for which she used to be a part of. Stacey would often come on air on Fox News to talk about whatever issues were being discussed, but in a turn of events, Fox News let her go for having gone too far with her words, especially in reference to the abolishment of Black History Month. Some people have said that her extreme beliefs are what stopped Stacey from receiving any roles, and have said that she was even dropped by her agent for being too problematic. Her views on gay and trans rights, as well as opinions on race in Hollywood, have ultimately ended her career as an actress. At number 6, Kirk Cameron. Another celebrity who's been dropped by Hollywood is actor Kirk Cameron. Kirk rose to fame on the show Growing Pains, but has subsequently been banned from Hollywood in recent years because of his personal and religious views, especially those pertaining to the LGBT community. Though he seemingly doesn't care about Hollywood thinks about him, it still doesn't take away from the fact that he's no longer welcome in the industry. In recent weeks, Kirk was in the news for his anti-COVID protests, posting photos of him and large groups of maskless people caroling during the holiday season. This this, combined with his controversial views on same-sex marriage and his harsh religious views which he often preaches, Hollywood doesn't want anything to do with the actor because he has a reputation for being problematic. 
At number five, Thora Birch. From Hocus Pocus to American Beauty, Thora Birch was a rising star, but due to a number of reported conflicts, Thora isn't finding the same level of success that she used to, and some say that she's been blacklisted from Hollywood. Much of this has to do with Thora's father and the conflict that he's been involved in. First, it was reported in 2010 that Thora had been fired from an off-Broadway production of Dracula because her father would frequently accompany Thora to set and had physically threatened other actors. Thora was also fired from her next project, Manson Girls, after her father allegedly got into an argument with production. From 2010 to 2018, Thora reportedly booked only one gig, and the actress has said that much of that has to do with her bad rep in the industry. She said that she angered a lot of people over the years, and so this could be the reason that she's blacklisted. At number four, Isaiah Washington. You may know Isaiah Washington from Grey's Anatomy, but if you want to see what he got up to after leaving the show, you might be a little hard pressed to do so. Isaiah left his role on Grey's for a number of reasons that turned it into scandals. Firstly, he allegedly didn't get along with co-star Patrick Dempsey, and it was alleged that they even got into a physical altercation. But the nail in his coffin, so to speak, was his controversial use of a gay slur when referring to one of his other co-stars, T.R. Knight. As a result, he was let go from the show and this behavior apparently led him to being blacklisted for a few years. No one wanted to work with him because his homophobic scandal was still fresh in many people's minds. Eventually, he was able to make it back to the screen in Grey's as he took up his character story once again, and he even got a role on the show The 100. His Hollywood ban was very real, but also very brief. At number three, Rose McGowan. In 2017, actress Rose McGowan told sources that she was blacklisted from Hollywood because she was a victim of Harvey Weinstein. Rose was one of the individuals who came forward about their unwanted relations with Weinstein, ultimately leading to his conviction. Rose, known for her time on the show Charm as well as in Scream, says that she was threatened and subsequently blacklisted and banned from Hollywood because of what she endured from an internal level as a way to protect those who knew from being outed. Now Rose is very outspoken about these matters and seeks justice for all victims of these sort of crimes. Her case originally settled out of court and everything was kept quiet, which is why she was no longer welcome in the industry, but this band says a lot about the characters in Hollywood. Wanting to protect the higher ups in the business and sacrificing someone's career should never be the answer. Rose lost a lot at that time and it's not fair to her, so this is one band that went unwarranted. At number two, Jim Caviezel. It's not always tweets and fights that get you banned from Hollywood. The roles you play and the productions that you're a part of can also take a toll on your career, and this is what happened with actor Jim Caviezel. Coming from some minor success in the 90s, Jim's defining moment came when he played Jesus Christ in Mel Gibson's Passions of the Christ film. The movie itself was a financial success, but the media tore it apart, calling it too violent and controversial. The R-rated film caught a lot of bad press as it was seen as anti-Semitic, and those who worked on the film had a hard time shaking that label, especially Jim. Apparently, before filming began, Mel Gibson warned Jim that he could potentially be shot from Hollywood for this film, but he went ahead with it anyway. Jim says that he has no regrets starting in the movie, but he's no longer welcome in Hollywood as a result. And finally, at number one, Mel Gibson. Speaking of the passion of the Christ, Mel Gibson is someone who is notoriously hated in Hollywood for a number of reasons. He is no longer considered for any Hollywood roles and only seems to make an entrance into the industry when he is directing his own film, but he still holds a bad rep in the film world. He's been the subject of a number of controversies, from that of the Passions of the Christ for being anti-Semitic, to career damaging freakouts, driving under the influence, and a number of people coming forward to discuss Mel's racist and anti-Semitic views. Though he continues to get canceled in Hollywood, he attempts to make a return every so often, so I guess you could say he's almost like the Trisha Paytas of Hollywood. He's been facing controversy for decades and no one has really forgiven him, and so he remains banned in Hollywood. Now on the topic of Hollywood, I want you guys to tell me who your favorite actor is. There are so many talented performers to choose from, so I want you to tell me all about your favorites down in the comments. But speaking of comments, let's read out some of yours from our video of the top 10 most embarrassing celebrity moments, part five. B says, mad respect to Christina Aguilera for dealing with that situation like a professional and sticking through her performance until the end. Exactly, I mean, she was belting her heart out. It was a really emotional time for her. She was singing for her idol's funeral. It was very emotional. So the fact that she was able to just stick through and just pretend like nothing bad is happening is props to her. Beezer says, thank you for adding Kanye walking into a sign to the series. I laugh every single time I see it. Funnily enough, I wrote that script and then went and saw your comment on the last one. It was like, hey, telepathic connection here. I got you Beezer, don't you worry about it. I did that one. C 
seemingly for you. I didn't know that you commented it, but it's for you. Shinerbot says, I absolutely love Demi's response. She should own it instead of being embarrassed. That's great. It is super funny, but also kind of awkward to just watch her go on raving about mugs. <laughs> like she's just, I know you really like mugs, but it's, it's, it's a little funny. It's weird. <laughs> Jimmy Maxter says, Brie, you are the best. Love you so much. Huge fan of yours. God bless you. Have a great night and have a fabulous week ahead. Thank you. Those are very kind words. Thank you so much. Just brightened my day. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for all your comments and for sticking around until the end of the video. I've been your host, Brie Boom, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay groovy, friends.